The Romans made some cool stuff, and everyone knows the Roman Empire failed, but it wasn't really a failure, because if we take a look at Pont de Garde, and we know it's constructed between 1460 AD, so 50 AD, and it was well maintained for 300 years, and it was still in use until Nîmes wasn't Roman anymore, and then eventually it stopped being u- being used around 700 years after it was built. So that's an incredible amount of usage. So the people who made it, their children's children, 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 10 generations were using and maintaining this in perfect working order. It's an incredibly long time. So there's quite a few Roman places to look at around where we live. These amphitheatres where where the sports went on, there's one in Nîmes, one in Arles. And these sports complexes got turned into towns by the local people. So this was in the 18th century. And only in 1825 did they decide to clear that out and say, hey, we should restore this thing. So one of the most interesting Roman projects that you may not have heard of is in Barbagel near Arles. And this is the viaduct bringing water. And it's quite impressive, sure. But there's two side by side. One on the right, one on the left. And the one on the right turns right and heads towards Arles to take water to Rome. And then this one... heads out to this hillside. Now, can you guess why the water was brought to this hillside? There's the opening, and then there's some foundations of some stuff the Romans built. So take three seconds, have a guess what they built here. Three, two, one... This is a model of the reconstruction of what they built, and it is 16 water wheels. Rather than just one water wheel randomly by a river, they made 16 right where they wanted it, in a wheat producing area. And they could make flour on an industrial scale for the whole region. So it's just ruins now, but let's have a look at a computer reconstruction. The water splitting into two and going down each side. Eight water wheels on each side of the build, 16 in total. And all is by the Rhone River, so they could transport that up into central Europe or down to the Mediterranean and also it could feed the whole city of Arles and it's just industrial rather than lots of little farmers doing the work and uh, having a few slaves this I think could have been a good future for for the Roman Empire So you can see it's 4.5 tonnes of farine par jour flour each day, and it could feed the whole city of Arles. And that's the ruins off in the distance, and that's the area around it. So I found that place pretty interesting, how close the Romans were to just doing things on an industrial scale with machinery. Uh, it's kind of cool how their stonework still stands strong today.